So I want you to create a new sketch. You're going to select your front plane or your front view. Once you do that, you'll notice that this box then shows that it's a front view. I want you to go and load your line tool and when we hover over that, over any of these tools, it will show what it is and it will show a little picture of what it will actually do. So we're going to select line. I then want you to go to the right of the green line and above that red line. Okay, click, move your mouse towards the right, don't click and drag, just move, click and move. The first line we're going to do is the length of the front feet. Now it is 400 millimeters in length. So type 400, you'll notice that your line goes off the page, don't be concerned about that. Just type 400, then hit enter or return on your keyboard. Now you'll notice that that line changes to blue. I want you to use your mouse to scroll in to make that line smaller. I then want you to use your mouse to scroll out to make it larger, but more importantly, position it so it's more in the middle of your page. We are then going to draw a center line in the middle of that line. So load your line tool, go down to that blue line, and you'll notice when you get to the center, you'll see a little triangle pop up. Now, once you see that triangle pop up, that means that you are in the center of that line. That's important because we do all of our other lines in the middle here from that line. So have the triangle show up, click with your mouse, then move vertical. Now from the left hand side here, I want to load my line tool. I'm going to select that dot at the top there. I'm going to move vertically down. And again, it should be at 90 degrees at this stage. I'm going to only go 30 millimeters. So again, I can either type that measurement or I can get that exact measurement. 30 and click. I'm then going to move to my right. Now at this point, I need to only go the 35 millimeters, but you'll notice that I can't get that exact measurement. Now there's two ways I can do that. I can either type in 35 or I can hover over that blue, over that dot again, not clicking, just hovering and then moving straight down, and you'll notice then that there is a vertical, a vertical dashed line that appears in that drawing window. Now that indicates that I am perfectly parallel with that dot at the top, and you'll see that my measurement says 35 millimeters. At that point, I can click, I can then go back up to the top of that box and click again to finish that part of the sketch. And you'll notice when anything is finished or those lines are closed, that that box will be orange. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to draw where the top part of the shoulder in, that, in those feet will be. So I'm going to go in the top left hand corner of this box. I'm going to click, I'm going to move towards the left. Again, I don't want to um, click and drag. I just want to click and move. You'll see there that I've gone to 32.5. Now, the reason that works is because, again, that's a, a five millimeter increment. And that's the exact length that we need to draw this next part. So 32.5, we can either type or we can move. At this point, I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to delete the dimension. I'm going to go back and load my line tool. I'm now going to go to the right hand side of that orange box. I'm going to click and move towards the right. Again, getting that 32.5 and hitting enter or clicking my mouse and then clicking the tick button. Now at this point, you'll notice that uh, I have some lines here that if you remember from your technical drawing that you did, we can go and close off. So you can select the top left hand dot, go down to, and again, you just click and move your mouse and then go and click on that bottom dot and that will give you your straight line. Now I can go to the right hand side and do exactly the same thing again. Okay that part of my drawing is now finished. I now need to do 
this next part that shows the bottom of that feet. Okay, this orange part is going to be cut out of one side of the feet. Okay, and we're going to extrude this in a minute so it'll make more sense. Now, with your line tool loaded, and again, if it's not, go and load your line tool. Go to the bottom left hand side of that box, click and drag down. Now this time I want to go 35 millimeters and it has to be 35 millimeters exactly. So you'll notice there I can't get that, so I need to type it. So 35, enter or return on my keyboard. Okay, now I want to do exactly the same on the other side. So I'm going to click in that corner. Again, I can either type that measurement or I can hover over the dot and move towards the right. And you'll notice there that then it gives you that parallel line. I'm then going to click with my mouse and I'm going to finish that drawing by clicking on the tick button. Now to deselect that line tool, as you see, it's currently selected. Um, I, I can hit escape. Now before I do that, I just want to show you that there's two options here for our drawing, okay? We can either click and click on this right side to give a right-sided view like that, okay? Or we can actually create an arc foot, okay? Now to do that, you wanna select this create drop-down menu at the top left-hand side here and go to the word arc you're then going to select a three-point arc, okay? So select your three-point arc. You can start at the bottom left and click once. You can go to that left-hand point there and click again. And this time, when you move your mouse, you'll notice that it creates an arc. Now, it can be an internal arc, like a concave, a concave or it can be an external arc, like a convex. Okay? Uh, concaves tend to look better. You can have a marginal or a very slight curve, or you can have a more extreme curve. It's totally up to you. You just need to remember that the more extreme curve you have, the less material there is on the feet, which could make the feet much weaker. Once you're happy with your curve, then I want you to, and try to remember exactly where you've put it, because that's going to be important for the next time we do this drawing. Not so much for when we get in the workshop, because we can make one and then copy it as a template. So click, you'll then notice that uh, those two sides of the drawing are complete. However, what we need to do is we need to connect this bottom part of the drawing, okay? So just your line tool, click on the bottom left, click to the bottom right, and you'll now notice that that is completely closed. Hit escape to get out of that line work. Click on this measurement indicator. Again, it doesn't really matter because we're going to get rid of that later. And now you want to finish that sketch. All of it needs to be orange. If no part of it is orange, it means that you haven't closed part of this drawing. And that's really important for when we do the extrusion. So click on Finish Sketch. You'll notice that the drawing then changes. You'll see that drawing that was uh, in orange, it will change to gray. When you hover over it, okay. You'll also notice that now you see your Create Sketch tool again, but you won't see your individual line tools or your drawing tools. The one that we're going to use next is this extrude tool, which looks like a blue tower, okay? So I want you to select on that. I then want you to go and select these three parts that we are going to extrude. Okay, so click, click, click. You'll then see that it's the distance measurement here is zero, and it's waiting for us to input some information. Again, you don't need to delete this stuff, you just can simply write over it. And the thickness of that material at the bottom is 35 millimeters. So type 35, then enter. Now it will change to gray. You'll see that both of my, the two sides of my feet look very different. Now I haven't changed that because I just wanted to show you what they look like when we uh, extrude them and make them three dimensional. Over on the right hand side here, you'll see the front 
view is still shown. If you click on the little house, it will change it to that three-dimensional view and you'll actually see it like an isometric drawing. Okay. Uh, again, I want you to go back and make sure that you have saved this as the front view feet. Okay. Uh, make sure it's in your table location, then hit save. The next thing that we can do is we can actually give this some material view. And to do that, I want you to tap on the A, the letter A on your keyboard, scroll down through this appearance window until you find wood. Okay. Click on that and then scroll down. You'll see some different types of timber here. Now, anything that is showing like this and doesn't have like a little drop down arrow or download arrow on the right here means that you can select that as a material. Okay, so whatever you'd like to select here, you can. We can change that later on if we want. So I'm going to make mine out of oak. So to do that, I click on the on the picture for oak. I then drag it over my drawing, and you'll see that the color of that drawing changes when it's selected. Now you can let go of the click button on your mouse, and it will change the color of those feet. Okay. Again, once you have done that, just hit the save icon. User version will be user saved. Just hit OK, and that means that it's now updated that. To start the second part of the drawing, which is going to be your side view feet, just select this new design icon on the right of this X button. Okay. 